Well, Walter, Midtown Spirit is one of those new businesses here in Sacramento, and the owners tell me they are so excited because this is the first distillery in the city of Sacramento since Prohibition, but the pandemic hasn't made it easy. David Abrahamson is trying to focus on the glass half full, despite the challenges of opening a new business during a COVID shutdown. It's a difficult time right now. David and his business partner opened Midtown Spirits last month, getting only a couple days of indoor dining and a week of outdoor dining before having to shut down their new digs. The hard part with us being new is that, you know, no one's really had a chance to come in and try stuff. Now the distillery relying solely on takeout. David says they decided to open despite the pandemic because this was their plan two years in the making. We're concerned, but we're going to ride it out and see what we can do and, you know, hopefully get through this. In downtown Sacramento, Holy Slice opened last month too. Pizza is everybody's favorite takeout. The family owned operation opening up the Halal Pizza Kitchen after their Mediterranean buffet in the same spot closed down eight months ago because of the pandemic. Buffets aren't known to be takeout places. You know, this was a great concept when the state workers and the county workers and everyone, everyone was downtown. The owners shifting gears to focus on takeout in part to weather COVID restrictions. You got to keep trying, you know, you, you can't let, you know, the city just go have another closure. I don't know. I mean, we wanted to try, you know, at least try. And another new business, the Strong Stuff Coffee Company, focusing on online only. I solely relied on the community. Um, I relied on social media influencers within Sacramento. We sold out in the first two weeks of our initial inventory, which was awesome. <laughs> Caleb Fong, mindful of the pandemic, selling cold brew and ground coffee digitally. We're handling it safely. We're either delivering it to them or shipping it to them. They, if we do drop offs, we don't make contact. From highly caffeinated coffee to locally distilled spirits, Sacramento entrepreneurs thankful to their community as they try to get off the ground. Nowadays, there's been such a push to support small business, but what's interesting is these small businesses are also doing what they can to give back by giving some of their proceeds to Front Street Animal Shelter and other give back programs. Live in Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCRA 3 News.